when I was writing it originally, I was, I was picturing this old man lying in a hospital bed. He's made a lot of mistakes. He's done some good things, some bad, but he is able to die peacefully because he knows that he lived every moment of his life still being able to smell the roses and still being able to appreciate just being here on this planet. When I thought about how it related to me in my life, you know, my, my brother, uh, who's in the band with me, he's blind, he's born blind, he's been blind his whole life. Despite everything uh, that he is faced with, he's still able to really just live such a, a, a grateful life. So, you know, for me, the song is, is about, uh, it's about him. Doctor's notes, swinging votes, I can't decide. If I stay here much longer, surely will die. A dear friend of mine is struggling with uh, with addiction. That's been a really incredibly hard thing for uh, them and for me to, to deal with uh, as, as someone who loves them and cares about them a lot. As much as I want to feel like I have an influence over this person's life and, and decision making, I don't. And if I stay in this place of thinking that I do have control, then I'm, I'm just gonna eat myself alive, I'm gonna die. Lived a life full of vice, passion and crime. I personally have never been arrested, but uh, really close friends of mine have uh, been in and out of jail and you know found themselves in unfortunate situations. The song is as much for, for them as it is for me. Can't say I'm perfect. I certainly try. I'm a perfectionist in my, my work and my music and in my life. I always have to be like doing everything, everything perfect. And if I fuck up, then like I feel like I can't pull myself out of it. I can't, I can't forgive myself for that. To be joyful, joyful. Joyful and happy, sunny and bright. To be joyful, joyful, joyful and happy, just being alive. Being able to, to look out into the world and see the world around me, you know. My, my brother to me is a constant reminder of how grateful I should be to be able to just see. There's no one left, no one except my demons and I. There's no one to forgive me and I'm running out of time. It's easier to have someone else say, this is okay, or like, you're doing all right, than to tell that to yourself and, and really believe it. And it's up to me to try and meet my fate with a smile and it might sound silly but i still will try death baby it's the end the end you know like i've just been so fascinated and frightened by the idea of death and dying my whole life you know because i grew up i didn't grow up religious but i've always felt like a person of faith. I actually just found out recently, my, on my dad's side of the family, my dad's Jewish, we come from a long line of rabbis. There's always been a spiritual side of me, but I've never been able to use that to um, comfort my, my fear of death. Joy, 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 joy. I will find my joy. Joyful and happy, sunny and bright. I don't know why at the end of the day, like I still find myself trying to, to be appreciative of everything. And, and, and also why like when confronted with how unforgiving and sometimes cruel the world can be, why do we still find ways to move on. I don't know.